good morning to all today we are moving to the next topic that is mangrove swamps and oceans in the last class we discussed about aquatic habitats and in that we discussed about the fresh water habitat that is rivers lakes and ponds and we discussed about the plant life and animal life in fresh water habitat and today we are going to discuss about the salt water habitat and it includes mangrove swamps and oceans so that is what we are going to discuss today so let's start with the mangrove swamps mangrove swamps are situated close to the tropical areas so mangrove swamps are coastal wetlands that are situated in the tropical and subtropical regions so they are wet coastal lands that are located in tropical and subtropical regions and another thing is that the soil in the mangrove swamps are clay it has clay soil and it is covered with salt water and the trees that is the mangrove trees it has aerial roots that grow upwards and these roots that is the mangroves it reduces the force of ocean waves so the mangroves the mangrove trees it reduces the force of ocean waves as it has aerial roots and another important thing is that it can also save lives and property during natural hazards like cyclones and tsunami so that is about the salt water habitat that is the mangrove swamps so they are wet coastal lands that is situated in tropical and subtropical regions and the soil here is clay and is covered with salt water now let's discuss about the plant life in mangrove swamps so mangrove plants have dense growth of mangrove trees it has dense growth of mangrove plants and these mangrove plants have stilt roots that grow upwards okay so they have stilt roots that grow upwards and their tips it remains above the surface of water so mangrove swamps have dense growth of mangrove plants and these plants have tilt roots and it grows upwards and their tips it remains above the surface of water so as we discussed the soil here is clay so that the clay soil below the water does not contain air uh, so that the roots grow upwards and they directly take the air from the atmosphere so the soil here is clay and the clay soil that is below the water it does not contain air so that the roots grow upwards and they directly take the air from the atmosphere so that is about the plant life in mangrove swamps then what about the animal life there are different kinds of marine animals in this mangrove swamps so mangrove swamps are habitat for many marine animals so many marine animals and fish use this mangrove swamps as feeding and breeding grounds so there are different animals that live in mangrove swamps such as blue crab gray snapper brown pelican all these are different animals that live in mangrove swamps so mangrove swamps are habitat for many marine animals so that is about mangrove swamps which is a salt water habitat the next we are going to discuss is about oceans which is also another salt water habitat 
the ocean covers three fourth of the earth surface. So the oceans are located in different parts of the earth and have different environment. So three fourth of the earth surface is covered with ocean and these oceans are located at different parts of the earth having different environment. The oceans that are in the tropical region have warm water and the oceans which are in the polar region it has cold ice water. So in the polar region it has ice cold water. So oceans cover three fourth of the earth surface. So oceans in tropical regions have warm water and oceans in the polar regions have ice cold water. And now let's see about the animal life in oceans. So oceans have rich variety of fish that is shark, tunas, sardines, all this type of fish live in oceans and this fish have their own adaptive features that helps them to survive in oceans. That is they have a streamlined body and fins that enable them to swim in water. And we know that fish need to breathe, they need air and they use their gills to take in air that is dissolved in water. So they have their own adaptive features that helps them to survive in water. Then what about animals like whale, dolphin, all these are mammals. Mammals means one which give birth to young ones. So these mammals such as whales, dolphin, they have flipper like wings that helps them to swim in water. So that is one adaptive feature that helps them to survive in water. That is they have flipper like wings. And another thing is that they have blubber. And that is a thick layer of fat that is present in the body. This keeps their body warm. It also helps them in floating. And these mammals, they breathe directly. They breathe through their lungs. So although they live in oceans, they directly breathe air. These mammals breathe through lungs. Then sea snakes and sea turtles, they are reptiles that live in oceans. So oceans are habitats for many animals. Now there are ocean animals like corals and sea anemone. So these animals, these ocean animals, they live in low tide regions of the sea. And these animals, these ocean animals, they are adapted to live in shallow water which are exposed to direct air and sunlight. So we know that fish are fully submerged in water. But these ocean animals, unlike fish, these animals can stay alive when not fully submerged in water. So that is about the adaptation of these animals, of these ocean animals. So that is about the animal life in oceans. So we discussed about mangrove swamps and oceans which are salt water habitat. And we discussed about the plant life and animal life in mangrove swamps and oceans. So I hope the class was clear to you. You can go through page number 120 and 121 in your textbook and read what we have discussed today. So we'll meet in the next class and discuss the next topic. Till then, thank you.